Kiorana, thank you for tapping my other room email. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, today in Sydney is Thursday and a bit cloudy and raining outside. But anyway, um, <laughs> today our food is um, turkey tail. Turkey tail. I cook it myself. <laughs> and then the fish is carfish. And I cook it myself too. And then the potato and the corn. He cook it himself. And I cook it again. Um, and my one is um, fish curry. It's not my one. This is the one I went and got. This is from Norm's um, um, fob shop here in um, Bidwell. And I also got the supper sweet from there. And I didn't cook any of these two, but he cooked all that. Cause that's what he felt like eating. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we're gonna do a prayer, guys. And um, I've got my donut in the, in the kitchen. And um, I don't know. I mentioned it twice, and no one's gone to get it. But anyway, we're gonna do a prayer. What are you doing? Do a prayer. <laughs> okay, do a prayer. Then. I love you, Father in heaven. We thank you for all the blessings that you given us. We thank you for this day. We thank you for, for our life and well-being. Father, we pray too for the less fortunate. And we ask you please to forgive us for the things we do wrong. We thank you too, Father, for this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now go and get my dog. <laughs> now I'll be back. <laughs> If you're a comedian here, look at my door. See, guys, this couple, I went to put my head thing on. I walked out and he's got his hat on. I thought, what the? What the? Yeah, he didn't know I was going to put my, um, my headband thing on and my dangling earrings. These are Samoan earrings, actually. Yeah. So I just, um, because he's closer to go to the kitchen. Otherwise, I would have ran. And so fast. Oh, thank you very much, my love. Here you go. That's your little bit little folk. So, guys, I got um, some donuts from Norm's as well. No, I didn't cook it. Can't take the credit for someone else's cooking. But here we go. I can show you guys all our food. So fortunate today with our food, eh? It's yummy. And a drink, my one. Mango nectar. And my one is a water today, guys. There we go. Uh huh. Mango nectar. From Golden Circle. <laughs> From Golden Circle. <laughs> yeah. So, because he's not going to work today, guys, because remember I told, told you guys he had an accident and he had a boo boo? Mm. Mm -hmm. So that's why, yeah. That's why I'm wearing this. Um, He's nursing his head. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a careless mistake. Just that um, I got the plate from the cupboard and left the door open. And then I, I, I went in the oven to get some food, put in the plate as I stood up. Kapow. Kapow. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's just a, you know, a minor thing. Then I touch my head and look on my hand. It's bleeding and it start running. Did you faint? No. You almost died. away. <laughs> and then my girls came running and, oh, dad. Wants... And yeah. I said, never mind, never mind the, the bleeding. Just watch out for the food. <laughs> because I, I had some food in the oven. I, I had roasted some pork. Uh, I'm more worried about the pork than my head. Until later on, I felt, you know, this. So they said, yeah, let's go to the hospital. So I went to the hospital and then they glue it up and yeah, that's what happened. And then today I went back to the doctors. The doctors gave me three days off. So here we are. Make and, use of the day. And this is roast potato that he roasted? Yeah, roast potato. Yeah, well, what happened is I boiled the, the, the turkey tail first.
just to get rid of some oil because it's mainly oil in the tail. And then, uh, like I said the other day, uh, the favorite part of the chicken is, uh, well, my, my favorite part of the chicken is the, the tail. And then this is the tail, the, the tail <laughs> but it's a bigger version, the turkey one. So <laughs> the I boil it and then, um, and I roasted it. It's just two turkeys tail. So I thought I might as well roast some potato and corn beside it. So that's what I did just to use the space because you know, the big oven for nothing, just two of these. So yeah. And um, garfish. And um, you know what he said this morning? I said to him, let's do a mukbang. And um, tell me what you want to eat. What, what should we eat? You know what this guy said? A salad. And then he went to the shop, came back with turkey tail and fish instead of salad. What happened to the salad? I was going to um, go and get the stuff and prepare him a, a nice plate of salad, but... It didn't last long, but you know, like they say, sometimes it's the fault that counts. Not really, eh? <laughs> Not in this matter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, and then I said to her, Mum, roast potato. Boil the boil the gallo because we get frozen bags of gallo. So I gave him the frozen bag, and I mm. went because I had to go and help Sharon. Come back, he's. Peeled and uh, roasted potato. Sometimes it doesn't go with the food that we're eating, but I guess it's better than nothing, eh? No, no. Roast potato is nice. If you haven't tried it before, just peel it. But roast. make sure it's dry and then roast it. It doesn't take long. Yeah, I was going to cook the, the, the taro, but because of the oven, the space, I might as well. Do plan B. This is plan B. Plan B, plan B, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what this fish is. Have a look, guys. Yeah, I was hoping it would be like an eel. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. But anyway, there was a reason why I bought it because I wanted to to try it out. Anyway, I, I fed my mom before we start this. Excuse me. Ew. And if you're from my tag growing up, if you can remember this. Or garfish. Oh, in that time we call it the year. So, what happened is, at night time, my dad and I will go on the reef, do some reef fishing, parrot fish, surgeon fish. What? Surgeon? Surgeon fish. Mm. Oh, mate. In mm. a tuck of meat. Is that mm. that black fish? Mm. Mm. With a unicorn. Oh, ew. Nice. No, it's nice fish. Isn't that a, um, a jacket? There's a jacket? No, that's oh. different. Anyway, at the end of the fishing, coming back, my dad will sit in front of the canoe and I'll paddle the canoe back to the mainland. And then this will be just swimming on the top. And he got a long, long stick with a net in the front. And just... What? Scoop it up? Yeah. We got it's a... Carfish. Yeah, the carfish. Oh. We got it opai. Opai is the, the net. Well, I could be wrong. Anyway. <laughs> anyone out there know the real, the real word of this in the deck? But I think it's opai. Yeah. Ask me what it is. Tell me, tell me what it is. It's a long stick with a... Yeah, with a net in the front. The net in the front. <laughs> a lot of people use that. Not only in, in the island. 
How come you can't remember it? Is it because you're dead and never told you? Or you no, 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 because it's been a long time. Oh. Um, and I've been domesticated. That's why <laughs> I lost some of the, the island touch. Yeah, that's why my brothers, they stayed beside my dad. Learned a lot of traits with my dad. Fix a car. Wire the house, fix the house, build a house. Most of my brothers, well, all of them, they're very handy. Yeah, your, your dad is self-taught, man. Eh? Yep. But I left early and ran away. So, anyway, what I was talking about, <laughs> the old pipe, yeah. Take it out. Oh, nice. <laughs> Nicely cooked. If there's one thing I don't need is turkey tail or pig head and goat meat. <laughs> I only eat what I can afford. The cheaper, the better. The tastier. The cool yellow potato. <laughs> He's telling nice guys, he just loves eating it. That's why. The expensive That's an food. Excuse. It's a bit hard to swallow. <laughs> but the cheap ones, oh. Eat it with happiness. You don't need the mango nectar, you can eat it like that. We'll look your comedian, yeah, yes, so they don't know what? Oh yeah, my husband got heaps of names. Tangaroa, um, Tanga, Tangaroi, Tang, Tangaroa, and um, but you guys can call him Elvis. Mm -hmm. Yep. But my name is. Yeah, you already told people what your name is, <laughs> Elvis. <laughs> Tangaroa, Ikudel. That's what it means. Now I'll tell you a story. In that day, there's an, a little island called One Foot Island. The boy that. Yeah, somebody asked me if I'm from Tout. In that day. No, I, I was born. in Tarawa, in Nikopar, but in the bush, that's where I, my, my dad, yeah, he built him a house near his plantation, and that's where I was born and I grew up there, in Tarawa, no, 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 no. Mm. These donuts are from Norm's uh, shop, and they're nice, today is the first day, so and um yeah they're fresh today so maybe a first day is a good time to go and uh grab your bag from norm set bit okay story buddy sorry <laughs> disrupted didn't even say cut she <laughs> just took over <laughs> anyway this um from nico <laughs> Bush, in the bush, that's where I was. But my grandfather, my father's father, his wife is from Tout. That's where. Look where my eyes. Her name is uh, Poco. Yeah. From Tout. Oh, that's why your niece is named Poco, eh? Yeah. Mm. Name my mother. His brother's um, daughter is um, Boko. There's a man named Taye, Taye in Tout. He lives in Mangere, in Oakland. When my dad, they used to hang around. He had the name of the Taye, because uh, they're cousins. Who? From Tout, Taye, Taye is from Tout. It's my dad's 
cousin because my dad's mom come from Tuk Tuk. Mm. And the lady from Tuk Tuk is Poko. Married to Papa Rio from Nigo Paro. Mm -hmm. These Just. are nice donuts. <laughs> mm. And then, uh, yeah. But my dad lived between Nicopor and Tarabo. A Vainam? On the top of Vainam. Because on the way to the plantation, there's three rivers. Uh, one of them is Vainam. There's the one near, near us. There's the last one. Mm. And there's Vainamu. Vainam. There's another one. I forgot the name of that one. That's and, me. I know, I know, it's Wainam and Waymoke, and there's another one. For anybody out there that knows, please. Leave a comment. Yeah. This make, is a nice fish, Yeah? Mm. So is that one. Mm. No, this one is nice because it's got curry. No, they, I, I like our fish, but it's I got a lot of bones, a lot of bones, and then it takes me so long just to try and... And pull every single bone out, but her meat just eats it straight like there's no bones. But because growing up in the island, you train yourself to eat little bones like this, it doesn't matter. Mm. There are bones you can eat. Because some of the fish, my mum will fry it, crisp, bone and all, crisp. We need it like chips. There are bones in it, but if you train yourself to eat it, it make it easier. Yeah, like people can eat um some prawns and skin off the prawn. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice donuts, guys. So if you guys are ever after nice donuts, stop by to Norm's. I love the smell. It feels like that they um, cook this in dripping, like lard. Garfish. Mm. Really nice fish. I'm glad I got it. Because I didn't know what it was. I thought it might be an eel. And I love eels. I don't like catching it, but... <laughs> but, um, yeah. But I love eels. It reminds me of Wellington when, when my mum used to make it for our kongai. She used to make it for a eel. And my dad used to call it for a pussy. But, I don't know, was it, is that right? Remember the old man used to say, hey, hey, pussy? Mm. And that's eel, isn't it? Not, not eel from the fresh water, eel from the sea. sea. Oh. Yeah, that's what she's talking about. It's nice. Roasted in coconut cream. I don't know if I told you guys something um, um, when we went fishing. We went fishing, this guy over here, and our neighbor, um, and our neighbor went uh, fishing. We were just going to go and try and catch anything, guys. Yeah, and, um, yeah, so we all put our nets in, not our net, right. so, we, so we all put our um, fishing rods in, and made the best man win. Anyway. I tucked in my, um, oh, this curry's nice. I tucked in the, my fishing rod, and not long after, I got a bite. I know, I'm so not, excited. You chuck your line in. Not, yeah, my fishing rod. Not the rod. Oh, yeah, the line. Sorry. <laughs> no, I know, hey. Okay, guys. Professor over here said it's a line, not the fishing rod. Yes, yeah, right, but excuse you, Professor. Anyway. She's not the only one that throws the rod. 
other people have thrown their rod too. Yeah, so I didn't throw the rod, you know that. Anyway, so I chucked in the fishing line, holding the rod, and not long, I got a bite. So I was so excited, and I was wheeling it in, you know, looking like a professional. And as I went to pull it up and swing it over to me, uh, Eel came, came with the, the, the line, and it was twirled around the line, and I just threw it and ran. I ran till I saw them getting smaller and smaller. I just ran, 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 ran. I didn't want to stop. It was so scary. And um, mm. this one almost ran too. I ran that way, and he nearly ran that way. No, I didn't. No, he almost. Because I know the eel can't grow legs and run. That's why. Well, the, the amount, of, you know, the level that you run in, the eel can catch up to you, so you have to run. Anyway, guys, at least I got the eel, he got the nil. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. But anyway, that scarred me, and we never went back there again. Because we've been there before, yeah. and we caught some little fishy ace. Yeah, them little fish. That's, that's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, spotty. yeah, but the second time we went, that's when, um, because the first time we went, it was him and, and another person fishing. I was just sitting there throwing rocks and scary, and he would say, stop throwing the stones because you're scaring the fish away. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so we went again, and then that that's when I got the eel, and he got nil, and then, um, yeah, but we didn't take the fish home. He um, untangled it and chucked it back in there. And yeah, I had to stay Mount, there. Mount Wellington, eh? Yeah, Went Mount, Mount Wellington, um, yeah, the, the, by the bridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's an estuary that runs right, right up from Mount Wellington to Orahu up to Middlemore. Yeah, so. Yeah, uh, Middlemore? So when he said again mm. another time, should we go fishing? I said, not to that place. Nah, but he and I, we go to um, Waikato quite a lot. Hey, and pull the net. And we just get some spats, like baby... Um, sardines. We get sardines. No, there wasn't sardines. It was baby mullets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they call sardines. sardines. And, and flounders. And mullets. I thought sardines was little mackerels. Baby, baby, tiny mackerel. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Well. We've mm. always called them baby mullets. Mm. Now, all of a sudden, today, sardine. Oh, no, it's not sardine. What am I talking exactly. About? Mm. Mm. Anyway, I like them raw. Just chop the head, clean it, put in a bit of lemon. They're good to go. Mm. Um, and when we used to pull the net, we used to do so much. And um, but they're nice fried, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful fried. And then um, you know, like this was before that that rule came out, eh? So we will uh bag them up like um, and sell them for ten dollars, at um, because he used to go to the tennis club up in East Tamaki, so he'll go there and we'll sell just like that. So sometimes he'll take about four or five bags. Now when I think about it, I never used to see any money come back to me. I drank it all. Anyway, <laughs> before before we sell anything, we always give it out to the family. You know, uh, uh, uncle, <laughs> uh, uncle, my my brothers. No, dish them out first. If there's any leftovers, then we sell it. But mm. always first. Is to family and friends. Yeah, we, we just to give go it, around and give it. Yeah, we just give it away. Auntie Leia and them, we we give some for them and go on. Yeah, go on. my auntie used to like it because she always used to go, oh, fresh. Mm. One thing about Auntie Leia, she always loved fresh stuff. Mm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when we are lucky, we get some. Normally we do, and um, yeah, family and friends first. And then, still got over. 
still pay for the petrol because it's a one hour drive to go from Otara to Port Waikato. Yeah, one, that's why it was um one hour drive. Sorry, Dave. That's why when we went back to New Zealand for a year, we were supposed to go back for five years, couldn't hack it because my kids were over here. And I missed my kids, even though there were some kids with, with us. I just missed all my, my kids being together, you know. So when we went back, hey, I found out that you couldn't sell selfish, you know, if you're not a, um, a fishery, if you're not a... If you don't have a license. Got to have, yeah, yeah. You've got to, to have a license to, to sell, commercial. Yeah, anyway, I didn't even know because back in those days, you know, we sold some of our fish, you know, we'll keep a lot for us, but any that there's... Because when we used to pull pull the net, a lot would come. And it's so exciting. And then I'll take my um, siblings, my sister Lynette and my brother Maeli, we, we've been there and they've helped uh, pull the net. While I'm mm. um, there just running up and down, playing with the um, the hot sand, the black sand, eh? Mm. It was dark. It was, it was nice. It was cool going there. Yeah, they got quotas. Mm. It's limited to per, per person, yeah. per head. And how how much you can take. It, it's good. Mm. It, it's, it's good because some people will just fish and take it. And might, it. Yeah, might not eat it all. But anyway, for three person to go out fishing for a family, it's enough. Because on along those among those three people, there's enough fish fish to feed the family. Mm -hmm. mm. For during the week and for the kongai as well. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Because when they used to come home, hey, uh, he'll come with his quota, and um. If he takes one of our boys, then um, either he shares it with um, his brothers, but he'll bring his quota home. The fishes, the snappers were so massive, and then I bring some kawaii too. The the snappers were so nice. So um, he used to fill it some, and we make raw fish, fry some, fasua eat some. It was so good because. His brother Tal used to have a little um, dinghy and, and it was called Goldie. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. and then they'll all go and get their fish and. Yeah, it's a nice boat. Oh, I like I like that boat. Yeah. It's not a big boat. My brother George has got a bigger one. I think Goldie is about a nine footer, and uh, George's one is the twelve footer, a bigger one. But Goldie, oh. Yeah, Goldie. Mm -hmm. Goldie is a, is a little dinghy, guys, but mm -hmm. it took Tangaroa, his brother Tau, Take my four. son, and um, Tau's Sometimes son, five. and mm. little Lance. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's the way it's built. It's not like some boats are built like this, but that one is sort of there and then go flat down the bottom so it can carry more weight. Not not the sharp one. Or, yeah, it's flat. His brother George, he has the um the big boat that fits in about six or seven people away. Yeah. Mm. And he had a canopy on his on his one. It's a proper boat. But Goldie got no canopy, just open boat. Mm. Like a tinny, but he made a fiberglass. I never got to ride on uh, any of the boats because um well, you know, because I heard that um when you go there and you need to go to the to the woman's restaurant, you have to do it in a bucket. So I thought, no way. <laughs> anyway, that's the time for the boys to go and have a good time. We can just stay home and watch TV or clean up or something or mm. sleep. <laughs> but they would go there for like four or five hours, eh? Oh, from morning. Sometimes from morning. Come to... back at 5 p.m. Yeah, at night. It's funny sometimes, you know, I could be feeling, you know, sick and, you know, as soon as my brother ring, hey, we're going out. Um, yeah, the ears are like this. <laughs> I tell you, and everything, <laughs> you know. Everything. Uh, he's I just the say, best of health. I just say, pick me up. That's it. And, and we're gone.
Mm. Sickness gone out. Gone. We Got love, to wait for him at the sea. <laughs> we love fishing. We love fishing. Mm -hmm. I'd rather spend my day fishing. sitting sitting on a boat, even if we don't catch anything. Just having, you know, it, 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 it's a nice day. It's nice. But we always we always catch something. We, we're very, yeah, we're very fortunate that, yeah. Yeah, because um, some of my boys got to go on it. Andre, Jerome, Noah, yeah. and Ben. They all been, and they've all caught some big fishes. Yeah. Yeah. There was a time that my son Ben went, he caught a big one. How big do you think that was? They said it was the biggest out of all their fishes, mm. and it broke off the line. And then my son tried to jump in to get it. You know, like, how can he catch a fish? The fish is too far. Uh, and then his brother told... Hold him back. He said, no, don't worry, let it go. <laughs> yeah, because the fish came beside the boat. The, the snapper is a big one. And then when he tried to lift it into the boat, mm. it, it broke off. He, yeah. If you guys have a net to help him up. Yeah, we no. do, we do. But, but none yeah. of you just thought about doing it. No. Nah. And, and, and we, want him, we want him to bring it in himself, you know, without any help from us. Yeah, snap. Uh, he nearly, but uh, my brother hold him and say, no, 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 no. What do you there's plenty. Yeah, there's there's, plenty don't worry, don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, catch, catch another one. Like they say, the one that got away. Mm -hmm. No, that was a big one. Yeah, he tried. It the line just snapped. Mm. Came all the way beside the boat. Mm. Mm. I'm happy my son's got to experience all that. Because here in Australia, mm -mm. unless you're going with a chartered um, boat with other people, then that could happen. But normally, no. And my, my kids have been sometimes with their mates on their own little thingies and all that, come back empty-handed all the time. But not in um, New Zealand. Well, New Zealand Sea is very blessed. And as long as everyone um, obey the rules and don't overfish, there'll be plenty for tomorrow and our kids that come after that, you know? Plenty, but yeah, it's so blessed in New Zealand. That's why I love New Zealand name. Eh? Compared to um, Australian pay, it's, it's a bit better. And um, so the money over there is not that good. It's low, yeah. Yeah, it's low. So, but anyway, so, um, and the rent is really expensive. So that's the things why, um, that's the thing why pe a lot of people um, left New Zealand. Even though most of us, we leave New Zealand, but our heart is still back there in, in New Zealand. You know, it doesn't matter where we go, but we're still thinking about it. Samoa, I, I was born in Samoa, but I, I really have nothing to do with that because I don't, the only thing I remember is going to school and getting a, a fussy for the teacher. <laughs> yeah, there's a, probably a handful of stuff I remember, but up to the age of six. But New Zealand, that's where I went to school, high school, and had some of my kids. <laughs> and, you know, you you just live and be happy there. But unfortunately, we came here. Not unfortunately. I, I came here for my own reason. Oh, that's something on my mouth. Yeah, so we moved here. We moved here to Australia. Deep down, my husband didn't want to move here. But I wanted to move here because my sister was going through some problems. So I wanted to be here for my sister. I knew my mom and dad was still right because then they had their jobs back then. So I said to my husband, if you know, because that's what I told him. I said, OK, this is the rule. <laughs> this is what's going to happen. I'll move over to help my sister and you can stay here. That's what I said. Cause I'm strong willed like that, you know, like and like I said before, I think I've said told you guys before before I would always put my siblings first. My siblings came before my husband. 
and unfortunately that's the truth because this is how this is how solid I was with my own siblings. But my mom, eh, on the side, she would always say, She would always say that. And I think, um, we were born together and we were supposed to look after one another, you know, my me and my siblings. But at the end of the day, my mum was right all along, you know. So I appreciate that. She she kept saying that to me and I couldn't understand it because I always thought that, you know, you gotta be close with your siblings and you know, that was why I, to me is like they were priorities. But as my kids got older they still watched me how I was always like there for my siblings all the time and it sort of upset them because um I don't know maybe they felt neglected or they felt sorry for their dad my oldest son he he voiced something out to me and I thought about it and I thought yeah it's true I better turn around and and just focus on my family like my mum has always been saying you know, I don't know. I just thought to be good to your siblings was, you know, like important, very important. And it still is, guys, still is. But just at a, at, at portion, say, <laughs> can you hear? All of a sudden, I comment. I wonder what's going on in his little head. Decide to do what's good. Obviously, it's going to be good. So. <clears throat> A good result. So you nearly choked because you're trying to um, say but, something. <laughs> you're trying to take it somewhere. <laughs> if you decide to do something, you know, a bit off. A bit off. Obviously, the, the result will be off too. So, yeah. That's all I can say. With any action that you take, there's always a consequence. They say so like it was a bad thing. No, no, no. What I mean is, I, myself, me and my siblings, we get along. We, we do things with each other, like, like how she does for, for, for her siblings. But with, that, with, with my siblings, we do it to each other. For each other. For each other, yeah. If one is down, you you should see the rest. They will react. They will come. Like if I ring my brother, I I don't connect with him. I keep ringing him, and then I drop him a message and say, "Oh, you know, I'm feeling upbeat. You know, and I don't feel good." Next minute, he'll be there. He didn't receive your call before before, but if you just leave a message and you get that message. Next minute, you stay at your place. Oh, what's wrong? What can I do? Things like that. So what's the point of your story? The point is, every sibling should be like that. The one sibling is not. I was. Doing... Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Oh, every sibling should be like that. Yeah. Oh, look at that bird. Hey, buddy. Sorry, there's a window. <laughs> and there's um, a flower tree. There's a bird's eye view. <laughs> the bird must be going to the flower. Mm. No, because I was just saying, what's the point of your story? <laughs> yeah, the bird landed on a tree. That's what happened. Yeah. I think the bird came to save you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Good bird. You better watch it, eh? <laughs> no, don't, you should say thank you to the bird. Because you were digging yourself a little hot water there, mate. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, all's well that ends well, I guess. You know, I did what I did, you know, for my siblings. And I love my siblings, you know. That's why I do the things that I used to do. I don't do it as much anymore, but it's not that I will turn my back if they ever needed me again. 
But I know what he's where what he was trying to you know bring up. But lucky the bird came because I was thinking, oh, he's trying to bring up something. Yeah. But now all you have to do is look forward. Hey, don't look back. Mm. <laughs> like he's, I said something last night, and this guy had said, oh yeah, you, you know you get back to the past. And not going back to the past, it's just mentioning something about their past. But he was taking it the wrong way. So I thought, oh, so this guy want to take it there, you know. But anyway, we, we just carried on watching TV. Oh, Daddy, do you know our TV's popped? This one. Did you watch TV this morning? No. Anyway, guys, <laughs> this is what happens when, when this guy over here watches TV too much. So a light down on bottom came on. There's a game tomorrow. And then a bigger light came on. Like the little light came about three weeks ago. So that was all right. And then just last night, eh? This light in the middle came on. And the longer he was watching it, the brighter the, the light was coming. I thought it was this light shining towards the TV, but no, it wasn't. And now this morning, I went to turn on TV so my mom can watch some, some Samoanese. It was just wouldn't come on. All oh, black plain. Fair cool TV. La wali anga fe me all black plain. Saturday. Ay ay ay. All black and tonga. Oh well, I think I think they might need a new bulb or something. You know, we might have to take their TV and get it fixed. Anyway, well, what happened? How come you you're holding your your PP? But I I had one. And I had uh, pork mm -hmm. and corn, potato. Yeah. yeah, this fish is actually nice. I like this fish. It's got a texture of a flounder. Nice. Mm. It might be a kingfish. I no. Mean, when I asked her what kind of fish is, I asked the girl, what kind of fish is this? And she went, ding, ding. <laughs> I can't remember. And I go, oh. So I turned around, went with my fish to pay for it. Got into the car, couldn't even remember what she said. So. Normally they'll fry tilapia. No, nah, there was some tilapia there, but no. Nah, but no, no, this is not tilapia, but. It's a nice fish. And I got it from Norms. Because I was going to come back to Blackhead to buy some, some food, but then I looked at the chop suey. You know, it, it looked okay, so that's why I decided to get it. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. Been a pleasure. And now we're going to go and put this food away so he can eat it after with his son. Because my son always comes looking for any leftover mukbang <laughs> food, which I love because then it doesn't have to go to waste, you know. But anyway, okay, we're off, guys. All take care. Kia manuia, fasoi fua, and God bless. Go, uh, lakoroa. Push, push. Yeah, yeah, turn around first. Yeah, one, two, three.